Adnan Khashoggi, a lifestyle of heroic excess, is matched only by the zeal of the global press to explain this mysterious mogul whose name and face appear in headlines across the world. The multi-million dollar deal, the 2.5 billion dollar divorce case, Seen with Farah, or Liza, or Frank Sinatra, and pictured in the tabloids with Jackie O and Joan Collins. America's richest man, Gordon Getty, has $4.1 billion compared to Khashoggi's estimated $10 billion. And though the cameras follow his every move, Khashoggi rarely talks to the press. Instead, they just speculate about him. But now, the facts. He was born in Mecca in 1935 under the sign of Leo to a middle-class family. His Muslim religion and loyalty to the Saudi royal family are the pillars upon which his empire is built. Photographed with stars and celebrities, who he entertains lavishly in his 35 family homes, the real Khashoggi is a surprisingly private family man with six children. Five from his first wife, Soroya, including eldest son, Mohammed, 21, Khalid and Omar, 19 and 15, Hussein, 17, and Nabila, 22. Second wife, Lamia, bore Khashoggi a son, Ali, five years ago. Known as AK to intimates, the chief to those on his enormous payroll, he's a man who can't avoid the limelight. But for connections between East and West, Khashoggi's visibility has proved to be extremely good for business. He provided Money development dollars for the film The Cotton Club, an extravaganza expected to gross $150 million. From the world's banking centers to international boardrooms, Khashoggi's unique business talent provides him the ultimate lifestyle money can buy. The Kana International Consulting Corporation and the Triad Group of Companies present The Canadian Connection, a visit by Mr. Adnan Khashoggi. Welcome to Ottawa, Canada's capital, by an old friend, Mr. Ziad Shawaf, the Saudi Arabian ambassador. It made sense to invite Adnan Khashoggi and Triad to Canada because of their expertise in the fields of counter trade, uh, marketing, and packaging uh, proposals together for various governments. It introduced Anand Khashoggi, his family, and the Triad organization to a lot of Canadian corporations. Khashoggi wasted no time in getting down to business. He quickly met with Petro-Canada chairman William Hopper and his executives. Petro-Canada, the national oil company, is involved in all aspects of the industry. Both parties expressed an interest in the possibility of joint ventures in exploration, extraction, and refining oil throughout various parts of the world. But at Mitel Corporation, a rapidly expanding high-tech company, Mr. Khashoggi was introduced to the latest developments in the field of electronic communication. Leaving behind the beauty of Ottawa after a hectic day of meetings, Everyone appreciated the chance to relax on Mr. Khashoggi's luxuriously decorated DC-8 airliner as it soared en route to one of Canada's major cities. Toronto offers its own kind of beauty, as Mr. Khashoggi discovered before it was time to meet with Ontario Premier William Davis. The Ontario government was the official host for Mr. Khashoggi's Canadian visit, and the Premier warmly welcomed him to the province. The Honourable Frank Miller, Minister of Industry and Trade, outlined Ontario's position within the Canadian economy. Of all the Canadian exports of manufactured products as opposed to raw materials, three quarters of them come from Ontario. Our trade last year with, in total was $41 billion out. That was our export only. Yeah. And so the importation would have, would have been just about the same, about 37 to 40 billion. So about 80 billion of the 90 billion would come out of Ontario. <laughs> We're modest, sir, but this is where the action is. <laughs> we have uh, with this, friendship attitude and the feeling that we 
meeting some of your industrial groups and some of your commercial people. And we hope that uh, we can again build another bridge of uh, understanding and uh, economic uh, benefit between our area and yours. And there are many opportunities. Later, Mr. Khashoggi was the guest of honor at a reception and dinner hosted by the Honorable Frank Miller. More than 80 leaders of Canada's corporate community attended the function. To the King of Saudi Arabia. To the Queen. Please enjoy your dinner. Getting back down to business, the Ontario International Corporation provided a forum in which some major Ontario companies were introduced to the Triad Group. There's expertise in the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Natural Resources that can be melded with that expertise in seeking projects elsewhere. Later that day, the scenery changed to a different meeting room where Bell Canada's Len Lugston showed an interest in doing business with Triad. Uh, very pleased and honored to have you join us here this morning for, um, albeit a brief visit, but uh, we're all very honored that you could join us. I wanted to just say a word about uh, the Bell Canada Saudi Arabia connection that uh, has existed for some years. Uh, we have, as you know, had a contract in Saudi Arabia for approximately six years, and. Um, first with Bell Canada, of course, and now with Bell Canada International. And uh, it has been a great honor for us to assist the Kingdom in the development uh, of the telecommunications system. After a busy day of meetings, the group took time out. One of the highlights of the trip was a visit to the Toronto Stock Exchange. Mr. Khashoggi took an active part in the trading, increasing his holdings in Barrick Resources by 10,000 shares. Barrick is a Toronto-based oil company co-founded by Triad America. Bill, Barrick at 179. No, that's the special I'll buy that, please. Bill Kennedy! Sean Kennedy! How much? About 10,000 shares. At margin, margin. 40%. 40% margin. The Toronto Board of Trade Country Club was the setting for a meeting with the Urban Transit Development Corporation. The UTDC specializes in the design and operation of light rail transit systems for metropolitan areas around the world. These are sheds and uh, worker training programs, so there's very little investment. Six million dollars of building. I mean, there's that bridge of, of all that investment and all that coin. Both parties at the meeting expressed interest in the burgeoning Asian market. China, in particular, is opening its doors to Western technology. Arabian exhibit at the Royal Ontario Museum reminded everyone of the rich heritage of the past. Toronto has created its own monument in the form of the world's tallest freestanding structure, the CN Tower. From base to tip, it measures 1,815 feet, five and a half inches, and functions as a communications transmission center. The whole group enjoyed a spectacular view of the city from its observation deck and the revolving restaurant. 
At a dinner party given by Mr. David Gilmore of Barrick Resources, Mr. Khashoggi was presented with a unique gift, especially made for him, a patented graphite fiber violin, handcrafted by Mr. Leonard John, aerospace engineer and technical advisor to the Akana International Consulting Corporation. So it's still one of only three in the world. No, it's not really to be and, the, uh, according to the races, I'm still one of three. Well, okay, that's right. <laughs> Spar Aerospace is a Canadian company that is already prominent on the international scene. Known worldwide for the robot arm used on the American Space Shuttle, Spar is a leader in aerospace technology. Mr. Khashoggi enjoyed performing the simulated capture of an errant satellite in Spar's full-sized mock-up of the space capsule. He then donned special protective clothing before entering an environmentally sensitive area where he was shown the complicated processes involved in constructing the arm. High precision gearbox. The gear ratio on, a, on, a, on your automobile is about... Finally, a visit to Ontario's vacation land to cap off a successful trip the best part of the trip was when Mr. Khashoggi, his family and friends and associates went to Muskoka. It gave the, them time to relax, to see, the, to see a part of Canada that very few businessmen ever take the time to see, and to meet really with the Canadian establishment. Welcome to Muskoka. Thank you. Yes. Good. 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 that this group showed towards Mr. Khashoggi and his family was, uh, was amazing. You know, welcoming him, him into his home, giving him tea and coffee, uh, just very casual, racing on the boats. It, it was great, it was great fun. Nobody talked business. It was strictly a social, fun time, saying, welcome to Canada and hope you come again. On his first visit to Canada, Mr. Khashoggi demonstrated that a lot can be accomplished in a short time. Everywhere he went, the business, political, and social leaders received him enthusiastically. <laughs> 